I remember a thing that haunted my dreams when I was a kid. A true story. I never gave it a name. Didn't need to. Those fucking spindly fingers were enough to make me remember. Didn't need to gratify any more with a title. <laughs> it used to dig them into my skin. It tortured me throughout my childhood. A figure of dread and horror. I'd scream and kick and fight with my parents. And I'd finally break down and beg, don't make me sleep. Don't make me sleep. It was deathly skinny looked sick, as if it was consumed by some kind of illness. It stood tall, and there was no lack of energy in its horrible vigil over my youth. It stalked through my dreams like a shadow at first. It watched me, unwavering surveillance. But I knew it intended me harm. The way it grinned. And the way it stood over me. I told my parents about the dreams. Drew them pictures. They sent me to a child psychologist. She said that it was related to me losing my cousin. And they were told to carry on as normal. Talked to me open about anything I thought I'd be interested in. But the dreams became progressively worse. It no longer simply watched me. It killed me. It would insert those fucking fingers into my skin and bleed me out like some sort of pig. It got more creative with its kills over time. It would drag me through dark forests, hurl me over buildings, stab me in the eyes, rip out my spinal cord. And every cut, every bruise, every insertion, I felt, I fucking felt. And everything this nightmare beast put me through was driving me to craziness. Its eyes were hollow, and I could see the back of its skull through their gaping emptiness. Its mouth was an endless pit of teeth and black liquid. Its greasy hair hung roughly around its shoulders and a bit of bone showed. Its nostrils were reptilian slits and instead of ears there were just small holes. It was covered in lacerations, from its, anywhere from its face to its feet. And it rotated between haunting laughter, guttural taunts, and some form of hissing and gurgling. Its legs were like a spider's. In up and then came back down again, and its feet were something like a like a velociraptor's, or some kind of bird of prey, but it was the same colour as the rest of its body, a deathly white. I was terrified of the thing, the beast. It played sadistic games with me each night, and as I'd said, I'd become insane. I developed an eating disorder, and I showered so thoroughly. Each morning I tore away skin. I can, was convinced the thing would stop if I just became clean. I became a bit of an insomniac. Some nights I could sleep and endure the nightmarish torture, and sometimes I just didn't bother. 
I thought it would help, but it didn't. Rereading this, I realize that it almost seems like I'm setting this up so that I do become the beast. I don't. I want to make this clear. I'm a person. The disorder stopped eventually, and I'll go to a university at, at uni. It's quite a good place, and I'm, and I'm 19. Regardless, I, there was a point where I couldn't cope with it. When I was 17, I tried to kill myself. I tried to slit my wrists with the door locked. I nearly bled out. And I think, in that moment, the monster must have gotten tired of seeing me suffer. Parents found me, of course, rushed me to the hospital, and got me fixed. And I never saw it again. I wish I had a better ending for you, but, but that's it. It left me. I don't know if it was just sorry for me by that point, or just bored, but it left me. And I do worry that it'll come back sometimes. And I still don't know if I'm crazy or haunted. I still don't know.